hello and welcome to my channel do you guys know how to set up this router this one is a huawei b612 from mtn i got it from mtn and then the other one this one is a huawei b315 it's coming from telco and i also have a zte uh, mf253 it comes from vodacom i got it from vodacom now all of these routers they are not network locked so you can insert any sim card on them and then it will work it does not matter if you're using vodacom on this one cell c any any sim card will work on this device they are not network locked so by the way i'm from south africa so this router was updating and then in south africa we got this thing called load shading so while the router was updating and then load shading started and then now the router cannot use it it's stuck on these two lights sometimes it will go blue in the network but there's nothing that i can do so before you update your routers guys just check your schedule and be safe let's start we will start by setting up the huawei b612 from mtn i will be using a telecom sim card on it like i said this device they are not network top so you can use any sim card so initially this is where you will put in your sim card with your adapter so We've got two ways to connect this device to your laptop or your cell phone. If you'll be using a cell phone, for sure you'll have to connect the device via Wi-Fi. If you've got, a, if your laptop does not have this port, you can connect via Wi-Fi. So today we'll do the setup using a Wi-Fi. If you are using a cell phone to connect to Wi-Fi, you can use your cell phone. You go to settings and then under Wi-Fi, you search for the device. After searching for the device, it will show Huawei B612. Then you will enter the password, which is shown at the back of the router, which is this one, 7HALQ. So you will type it in and then say connect. Then the procedure is the same. You'll just open the browser and then you'll continue. But today we'll continue on the laptop. So for us to connect via Wi-Fi, we'll just turn our device we have. We'll just turn our device and then if you check here, there's a Wi-Fi name and a Wi-Fi password. So, you will look for this Wi-Fi name on your PC. So, you go down here and then you look for Huawei B612 on B. Then you press connect. It will ask you for a password key. It will be, it's case sensitive, 7 each. A then once you are done you hit next and then it will try to connect but there's another way also we'll just cancel that way there's another way let me show you another way there is this button on top the WPS button there is a WPS button on top of the router. So if you can just hit long press, it will start to flash here. Okay, it's getting to settings. It stopped flashing. And we are currently connected to our router right now. So the IP address that we are going to use, we are going to go to this website. It is called an IP address or this number. So you will type in on your browser. You hit enter. Even on Chrome, it's the same thing. You just enter 192.168.8.1. The username. The username normally if it's asking for a username it will be admin the password it will also be admin admin small letters admin oh i am got my caps on admin there i am so now we can begin with the setup of the router let's start then we click here next we agree we can enable updates overnight or you can select manually if your area does not have load shading 
you can select auto automatic or manual then this is the wi-fi name we are going to change this name at the back to something else that we like maybe it can be your name your surname anything else your name or surname anything you choose so i'll call it and then the password you have for now make it one two three four five six seven eight you can make it anything as long as it's eight characters minimum so it can be numbers alphabets special characters it says my password is weak so let me say one two three four five six seven eight next same now it's asking us to change the admin password the login password we can either use the wi-fi password or we create a different password from the wi-fi if i say same password it's going to choose one two three four five six seven eight so every time when you log in you want to change something on the router you will have to type in one two three four five six seven eight name now it will show as Ruzan or to whatever you've changed it to it can be your name anything so once we see Rosani, there is Rosani. We can connect to Rosani. What is the password? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you press the button on top. If you press the button, it will continue. Or you can say next or the button. There is the password. Let me press the button. I'll show you now. There is flashing. There is getting in settings we should be connected shortly there we are connected now we are back like i said this is an mtn router i'm using a telecom sim card on it for those of you who are using a telecom uh, we've got telecom data telecom data only please do not enable this one data roaming because your mtn your sim card now will be stuck on vodacom if your signal is poor so rather don't enable that option and then you just leave it on already it's picking up the AP, apn of telecom if you want to add the apn you can just say uh, create it, or you can name it anything you can say vodacom or celsius it's up to you apn it will be internet small letters internet small letters and then you save it will work but already we've got internet connection so let's just delete this one and we go back to the telecom already i've got internet let's just check test first to the call there there's something going on i've got 12 i normally get around 25 Okay. Eight. So internet is working. If in future you want to change the or let's start here. Let me log out. If you want to log in again in future, you can just go to your browser 192.168.8.1. It will ask you for a password. The password, it will depend on whether you've chosen Y, same as Wi-Fi password, or you've created your own. So if it's the same as Wi-Fi password, you will have to enter the Wi-Fi password. If it's a different password, you will have to enter the one that you've entered. So on my case, I've entered 87654321 and log in. just ignore that for now we are in we want to change the wi-fi wi-fi name again let's say you are not happy with it or in future you want to change it you can just come here to wi-fi and then you change it to something else you enter the password the password this is where you enter the password and then if you want to change the wi-fi channels you will have to click on more and then you can get but i'll advise you to go with 6 and 11 this one does not have channel 1 but 6 and 11 
they normally work great on my side i don't know also we don't have to change anything the wps button if you do not like the fact that anyone can just come with a laptop and press the wps button you can go to wi-fi and then under here you'll check wps so if i disable this button i will not be able to connect any device without knowing the password so when even when i press the device the, pass the the button it will not do anything nothing will happen now it does not flash here like it was doing before so we've disabled that option 